Uh, good afternoon. My name is Leonida Udongo. I come from Kenya. I uh, represent an organization called Haki Nawiri Africa. And uh, it's a pleasure coming to uh, Benin today, uh, especially to be in a seed fair that is uh, the last day of the seed fair. And this brings uh, farmers from different parts of West Africa. It's a, a learning opportunity for us, especially from Kenya. And given that uh, in Kenya we are waging, you can say, a war against GM, especially when we got a lifting of uh, the genetically modified organisms ban. And uh, when we come here, it's an opportunity to learn that uh, different countries are converging in one space to share their seeds, to exchange and learn from each other. Uh, this is something that we don't have in the East African, especially with uh, restrictive uh, legislations as far as seed is concerned. Uh, sometimes when you come with seeds, you are not allowed to cross the borders with the seeds because it's presumed that perhaps you're bringing invasive species into, into the country. And so you must have a certificate for you to pass the seeds from one place to another. So uh, this is quite an eye-opener, especially because different countries are coming together to share seeds and you're seeing large amounts of seeds. So it's actually like they're allowed to cross the borders, which is quite very uh, empowering, especially when you're talking about farmer managed seed systems. One is that even uh, when uh, seeds, for example, are made in the laboratories, the source of these seeds are often farmer seeds. And so uh, issues of piracy, of course, come in and uh, issues of power, because when you talk about seeds, farmers ought to have power over their seeds. But when you find that uh, multinational corporations are coming in, they're the ones who own the science and they're the ones who are actually taking these seeds away from the farmers and they're the, actually the ones who are influencing the legislations. If you do, uh, if, if you interrogate uh, seed related legislations across uh, African countries, you'll find that many of them, if not all, have a punitive clause. And these punitive clauses are meant to tie farmers to the agrovets so that they keep on being customers season after season. And then with these uh, punitive clauses, of course, we find that they are very high, a lot of money, and these are farmers who do not even own the land that they till. They've actually leased that land from someone. And so what I can say is that um, this regional uh, seed-related uh, seed related, uh, legislations that are being pushed are actually uh, to benefit the multinational corporations because they are creating a conducive environment for the multinational corporations to thrive because they are backed by law. So it means that if there, there's a restriction, the farmer has to abide by law because they say, uh, if you don't follow the law, that is lack of knowledge of a law is not defense. So it means, it actually means that uh, farmers are not going to use their seeds. And these legislations are being enacted by the very same legislat uh, legislators whose parents had been exchanging seeds in the past. So it's actually a contradiction.